I know, I know, I hear you're saying, Rock, there's already some reviews out there about this movie. Why are you doing one? Because I can. But I'm not here alone. I'll be featuring a nice guest and friend of mine, Candy Rose Sweetest, on her pianist movie, too. Now, I'm going to give my honest review about During Red. I honestly think it's a great movie. I've seen, I recently watched it thanks to a person I really love watching. Because I, I, I wanted to watch the movie so I could watch my, my favorite YouTuber, Gore the Movie God, uh, his reaction to it. Which did disappoint Gore. If you're watching this, I appreciate your reaction to it, and it means a lot to me. Uh, but no, I honestly really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was the best movie ever. Probably the best movie Pixar has put out since, honestly, Coco. Now, yes, I know. It's about. Well, actually, you don't know about the movie. It's about a girl who. And her life family gets very stressed. And when they get stressed, they become pandas. Red pandas, which you might say are really adorable. And, well, red pandas are also very dangerous. That's why the mom said that their family, which started off as a blessing, became, as in her words, an inconvenience. But, you know... That doesn't disappoint the movie at all. People say the movie was, was okay. Some say it had a lot of sexual themes to it. Which honestly, I don't see. I thought it was honestly a sweet movie. It was a sweet, careful movie. Carefree. It's honestly really fun to watch. I think it's the best movie to ever come out this year. I know this year just started, but I think this is the best movie to top this whole year. And if it doesn't win an award, then God, I don't know what will. This movie deserves it. The creators getting under the creators getting so much flack for this movie, getting false false accusations about her. Which the which the movie is just a carefree movie. You can see it with your family, you can watch it as a teenager, an adult. Sure, it may be meant for children, but man, it's a fun movie. And honestly, I think it's the best movie that ever happened. Now, yes, I admit, it has some cringy spots to it. Yes, there are some cringy spots. Like, there's some jokes that, honestly, I just don't get. Now, that's not my fault. That's not the movie's fault. A person like me just doesn't get it. I'll be honest, throughout the movie, there are some jokes that just didn't land. But that is- Hello everyone, so Rock wanted to have me on to talk about this interesting film that'll come out in the spring sometime or whatever. I'm hoping it's good, but who knows at this point. I'm dead inside. <coughs> Help me. <clears throat> So, I watched the teaser trailer, and it made me question everything. I didn't understand the scene, what was going on, and I feel that's bad when it comes to trying to captivate an audience. The teaser starts by introducing us to a young girl who I later found out was called Melon Lee. Uh, apologies if I mispronounce that, but I don't know what the fuck that name is. Sorry to the melons out there. Sounds like I said melon. Melon. I'm just gonna call her melon now. So melon gets a note passed to her from what I assume to be her friend, or stalker, saying that her mom is watching her from outside. Not creepy at all. The character gets this fucking horror movie sound in the background. <laughs> So her mom's outside the classroom window peeking at her daughter from behind a tree. Not weird at all. I guess her mom just likes sniffing trees. Fucking tree hugger. Suddenly security finds her out and she goes 
fucking psycho and kicks him in the knee with her karate moves. The entire class gets distracted by it and the teacher seems to, uh, I, I don't know, fall for her mom, I guess. Sorry, kid, at least you'll get better grades. And you know what it's like when the teacher hits on your mom? You go fucking berserk and start turning into a panda. Now that I'm finished um, talking about that, I would actually like to go into detail about the official trailer for the show. So from the official trailer, I got more insight on what the film is about. Melon is a young girl who's part of this family that owns a sacred temple, sort of like that from Blue Exorcist and Ryuji's family. If you don't get what I'm talking about, I'll flash an image or a scene of it on screen, but all you really need to know is that it's a temple with the symbol of a red panda. The main character's opening scene is with her and her friends wanting to be a rap band or group or whatever the fuck, I don't know. And they start showing around these weird posters about these rappers. They also want to be a dance squad, I believe. But that's what I get from the trailer. So from the trailer, and I quote, she says, I do what I want, I wear what I want, and I say what I want. I'm guessing that's foreshadowing, but I have no clue. She just sounds like a, well, how do I put it? Um, very naive teenager, but that's to be expected. And I'll, I'll just come back to that in a moment. <laughs> So one night, according to what I've seen, she has a nightmare about the temple, which I believe she has no knowledge of, exploding and releasing the red panda spell, or at least that's what I'm gonna call it. So this has gone through the family for generations. Any strong emotion could cause her to turn. I find that concept of the movie to be quite enjoyable. I think having this is a great idea. Melon seems to be the popular kid in her grade, seeing as she looks that way at the start, and when her mom starts stalking her or looking out for her daughter, quote-unquote, I suppose, she becomes embarrassed and anxious about it. She starts to turn right in front of her classmates. She tries not to, but a bunch of her classmates start taunting her, and she eventually unleashes it and says, uh, fuck the haters, am I right? I find Melon extremely likable after she finds this part of herself. It seems like she learns to be herself and stop caring about what others think. Her friends also comfort her and say that they love her no matter what. I find it cute and dear to my heart that they would add those moments into the film. This is a teaser and trailer, so I'm unsure what scenes will be in the movie, but what I'm seeing is magnificent. I thought weird things from the teaser, but after seeing the full trailer, it makes so much more sense as to why her mom would be trying to look out for her, and why she would turn into such a creature. I want to also add that the character designs for all of them are incredibly cute. The panda model, the peers, the dad, the mom. While the mom isn't my most favorite model, it's still good for what it's worth. If they do this right, it could be an extremely well-made Pixar film. I'm hyped for it, honestly. So, Rock, um, I think I'm done with my part. Um, I'll hand it over to you, or whoever's next. <laughs> but, thanks for having me on. This was a very interesting experience. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Candy, for your amazing review. Guys, if you want more candy, go to the description and find her. I'll have her YouTube channel linked and her Twitter. So please, go give her a like. This has been an amazing review. I'm Rocket Mouse, and that was Candy. And this has been a Turning Red review. I'm sorry it was bad. I'm still learning how to do reviews.
and hopefully this will be better. Until then, this is Rock, signing out.